We live in a world where you've got to take risks. The only constant is change, and the ability to react to change requires taking risks. You need to make sure that as your organization grows, you can get alignment across a full portfolio and yet still have the same level of productivity that it felt like when it was a smaller organization. And the world's just going to keep moving faster, and the good companies watch the customers and move faster. Just the continuous improvement, really listening to what the team is experiencing. We're as invested in the environment as we are in the product that we're building. One of the great benefits of the service is that we run the service for our customers. So a customer doesn't have to install the product, doesn't have to patch the product, doesn't have to update the product. It doesn't have to handle disaster recovery. They also get new value all the time. And it's a huge benefit in a DevOps services world where every sprint I produce something and it gets to customers, I get the reward as an engineer that what I just did is actually in use uh, with the customer now. It really brings a lot of excitement to the team, a lot of caring. It's establishing a relationship that we never really had before. We are interested in understanding customer engagement and, and loyalty how those customers then use our product, and ultimately, uh, how they become a real fan of our product. I want to increase the number of developers that we have using the service that are really happy doing so. And so I want them coming back. If you adopt this approach, you are far better positioned to deliver value to your customers, to innovate, to disrupt your industry, to deliver more value for your shareholders. And DevOps really is the key to uh, unlocking a lot of value that previously was, uh, was unavailable.